okay guys so from the thumbnail you could tell <laughs> what today's discussion or story is going to be about why youtube why i started youtube and let me go straight to the point i was sucked from a church i was sucked from a church and i do not apologize or take back the word suck um after analyzing the whole thing the situation what happened the only thing they didn't give me was a suck letter but i was actually sucked from a church um by immature people yeah yes and i've said it and <laughs> i will definitely talk about this whole thing this whole suck church thing in one of my videos but for today i want to tell you what, what led to me starting the youtube um channel i love god i am crazy crazy about god and maybe i don't do anything wild to show it but god is not a god of do the uh, no the little things you do he appreciates it and he loves you so much so i'm I, I am crazy about god and i know people are uncomfortable declaring their love for god because the world we, we live in doesn't accept it the world we live in accept oh my god this guy is so handsome oh like the way he looks at me the way he kisses me that is what the world has accepted and they will embrace you for it but as soon as you declare your love for god emphatically like this it's like mm -mm, this is not what we want but bible has made me understand that i am in the world but i'm not part of the world so forgive me if my spiritual language is difficult for you to comprehend um the same Bible makes me know that the things of the spirit doesn't make sense for a carnal person. So yes, I am in love with God. I am crazy about God. I would love to talk about God every day. I would love to share his stories. You know, the testimonies in my life, what God is doing, how I hear from God, how, how I feel and how I, I know he feels towards me. So that was a desire in me. And I felt the church couldn't contain it. The church was not really understanding me in terms of my service, how, how I love to serve in the house of God, how I want things, oh, you know, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yes, we both don't know. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. They even had an issue with me coming to church early. So that should tell you some some of the situations I was going through. And so almost every Sunday when I go to church with my family, ha, huh, it was so difficult to walk into the church. It's either I stand at the compound or at the entrance for just some few seconds or minutes, talk to myself that church will soon be over so that i can easily go and then go home oh i really wanted to go home because i wasn't happy they they made life unbearable for me unbearable <laughs> so one day one sunday it was january 2020 think so and i got to church with my family and we came out from the vehicle they all went to church i stood at the entrance of the church and i couldn't enter because what they didn't know was that anytime i get into the church i go to the washroom to cry Sometimes I'll be in the washroom from the start of service to the end of service and I would rush home. <laughs> but this time around, I think it was a new year and God wanted me to start all over because I'm, I'm not sure that was the kind of daughter God had when God created me. To be broken, to feel useless, to feel unloved by the church. 
that wasn't what God expected me to go through or would wish for me to go through. So I got home, went to my room, and I wept. I think I have that video. I took a video of me crying, man. It was so sad. I have to search for it. I wept. Ha! I'm a cry cry baby, but this one day I was serious. I wept. I wept as if ah uh, as if somebody has pricked my heart. And I told God that what do I do now? I want to talk about you. I want people to know who you who you are. I, you know that kind of fire burning inside you when you first meet Jesus Christ? That kind of thing? Oh my gosh. It was in my heart. It was in my heart, man. And then after crying, I slept. <laughs> I slept and I woke up, had a discussion with the Holy Spirit, and I think the YouTube came about. For the name of the YouTube, it's a different story altogether, but then the YouTube came about. So that was how I got myself into YouTube. I'm excited about the next one, which is a very emotional one, which is whew, why I am quitting YouTube now. And that will be the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified when I upload that video and many other videos. Hopefully. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you and be safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, kindly comment, and if you haven't subscribed, do well to subscribe.